One of the most common things that I encounter as a coach are golfers who have the wrong idea in the backswing. And this makes them very kind of inconsistent with ball striking and it's surrendering a huge amount of distance. And what happens is many golfers think that the backswing is just a, you know, a nice rotation. Just turn, you know, everything together on the backswing and then turn everything together on the through swing. And as much as this sounds like a really nice idea, what this ends up lending itself to is moving heads and standing up. So if I, for example, turn both my upper and my lower body together in the backswing, my head will move to the right side. Okay, like so, which is incorrect. And then from the side perspective, this means that I'm going to end up standing up and losing hip depth. Right, this is going to make ball striking much harder. And what we actually notice with the professional golfers is the way they're able to keep their head still as they turn. And this is why with lots of students that I work with, I'm always trying to encourage them to work on separational moves. So work on upper body rotational movements first. Then you can get the feeling of turning your lower body, but that's why it's so important. I'm such an advocate of keeping that trail leg flexed. Because if you can keep that head still, get a nice rotation of feeling like your upper is turning against your lower and turning in towards this right leg, you'll start to induce what's known as a left side bend. And a left side bend is why what we notice with very good ball strikers is they maintain height. And even with some elitist golfers, we know that they drop height. And the reason for this is because they are turning correctly by inducing separational movement. So that's a very important lesson. If you want to learn more about it, reach out. I'll see you soon.